and I have the honor to invite our and welcome our first speaker, Minister Mohammed Nazim from the Maldives, his Minister, Ministry of Defense and National Security. Excellency, you have the floor. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, let me first of all, first of all acknowledge and thank UNIS, UNISDR for arranging this global event. I am honored to be present here with all of you to learn from your experience and to share perspectives from the people and the government of Maldives in implementing disaster risk reduction actions. Let me begin with a brief background of the Maldives. The Maldives is a low-lying island state at the heart of the Indian Ocean and consists of 1,200 small islands sparsely distributed across the ocean. We are just a meter above the sea level and depend heavily on tourism for our sustenance. Therefore, the country is highly susceptible to the effects of global climate change and natural and man-made disasters. The Maldives is extremely vulnerable to earthquakes, tropical cyclones, storms, thunderstorms, heavy rainfall, and droughts. Floods induced by the heavy rainfall or storm surges have become everyday occurrence in the Maldives. The frequency and the severity of the extreme weather events experienced by our people have dramatically increased in the past few years and is expected to increase as atmospheric carbon dioxide surpasses 400 parts per million. This can threaten the very existence of the Maldives. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, little has been done so far at the global level to address the issues faced by the Maldives and other small island states. Maintaining the status quo is not good enough for us as we meet here today in the global platform. I would like to request your assistance to break this cycle of business as usual. The dangers faced by the vulnerable countries like the Maldives today will be faced by everybody tomorrow. Therefore, I urge you to make climate change and disaster risk reduction a priority. As we have come together to agree upon a common set of actions, I strongly believe that the countries such as Maldives should be given an equal voice on the international platform. I believe that the international community has an obligation to ensure the small island states are not, not left behind in the climate change and disaster risk reduction debates. Therefore, we need to ask ourselves what options and opportunities are available for small island states such as the Maldives for their survival in the fight against adverse impacts of climate change and natural and man-made disasters. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, disaster risk reduction and the mitigation of climate change cannot be addressed separately. Most of the disaster risks that we face today are also adverse impacts of climate change. Therefore, in order to create safer, more resilient communities, we need to make disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation mandatory elements of development synergized to achieve results. We need to strategize to place these elements on the forefront of our development policies and plans. Therefore, it is paramount that we explore options to make the next disaster reduction framework in binding agreement among the nations. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, disasters do not discriminate. The Maldives, to Maldives, this poses the challenge of uniformly building resilience in our dispersed and adverse communities. We commit to invest at the grassroots to build the capacity of the Maldivian community to understand risk and hazards, to implement risk reduction measures, and to respond and prepare for the possible contingencies. I urge the international community and the government of the world to invest in the disaster risk reduction efforts by the small island nations like the Maldives. We are extremely vulnerable to natural and man-made disasters, and we believe that uniform and sustained investments in disaster risk reduction is critical regardless of the size of the country. 
While we appreciate the strong donor support received by the Maldives for post-tsunami relief and recovery efforts, I would like to highlight the importance of con continued assistance in transferring for the recovery to risk reduction and building resilience. I ask for the donor support in the application of resilience models for disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation. In this context, I would like to propose to the international community to explore the opportunities in facilitating the process of translating the next disaster risk reduction platform into action. As we advocate making the next framework of binding agreement, we also believe we should all work and all join hands in providing support to one another in successful integration of disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation into the development. Thank you.